Hi, this is Lauren from Lemon Sky Actions and I'm going to talk to you today about the Select and Fix action. The Select and Fix action is super cool um, for fixing areas in your image without cloning. Select and Fix is available in the Signature Newborn collection, in the Parent collection, in the Forestry collection. It's also available as a standalone mini action. So you can open up your Select and Fix action here. I'm going to show you the standalone, but you can find it in the manual section of your other actions. And I'm going to go over to button mode, I think, just so we can really see the select and fix nice and easily. Button mode is great because you don't have to click play, you just literally click your mouse on the action and it plays. Select and fix uses uh, Photoshop's content aware technology and a couple of other bits and bobs um, to kind of intelligently fix or fill an area of your choice. So to start with, I'm going to get rid of the parents and extend the backdrop. I'm going to duplicate the layer and hit Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac to transform and you know kind of crop it in where I'd like this image to sit and hit enter. Now because my crop hasn't deleted um, anything there is actually more of the image outside of the image we can see if that makes sense so I want to flatten this down again. I'm going to duplicate the layer again so I can show you the before and after but you don't have to and I'm going to come up here where the spot healing brush is and select patch tool. I'm going to use patch to draw around anything in the image I would like to get rid of, leaving kind of a loose border all the way around and I'm going to play select and fix to heal that area. There's a dust spot here so I'm going to play select and fix on that and I'm going to play it again here. If it doesn't get it right first time just play it again and because you're on the patch tool you can also drag this uh, to an area you want to replace it with. So for example here you may find the area looks a bit blocky sometimes because Photoshop is trying to figure it out, just patch it. Uh, this little area here, mom's knee, I'm going to use select and fix there. And that area there, select and fix. So there we go, before and after in seconds. Another image here, I'm going to use select and fix, so I'm just going to duplicate the background layer. I'm going to select this whole area here and play select and fix. You may notice here there's F2 written next to select and fix, that's because I have assigned F2 as the function key for select and fix. So even um, easier, you don't even have to have your actions palette up for select and fix, you can just hit F2. This may come across in your download, if it doesn't, all you need to do is go off button mode, double click select and fix action, or any actions you want to assign a shortcut to, double click, and you can select the function key here, F2, F3, F4, whatever, I like F2 because um, of where my hand sits on the keyboard. So you may find F2 is already assigned to your Select and Fix if you own this action. If not, you can just easily apply it yourself. If you're on a Mac, you may find this turns into Function F2, um, which is absolutely fine, still super easy. So before and after. Okay, so extending the background again. Uh, for kind of long areas, I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee and select it, select and fix. And for this area, rather than patch, I'm going to use less, um, polygonal lasso. I'm just trying to get through as many different ways as doing this as possible, because you'll see how versatile it is. So these are all of the ways you can use select and fix. I'm going to come back here to patch and just clean these areas up here with a little bit of patching. Still super, super quicker than cloning. OK, so that is select and fix on that one. Oh, and again, more background. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and you know crop it in where we want it and flatten remember to flatten if your cropping doesn't get rid of anything outside the image otherwise select and fix may well want to pull in um, areas that you can't see but that are still there so I've selected this area select and fix and that should heal that up nicely it's thinking about it quite a bit here okay so what happens when select and fix goes a bit wrong when it thinks oh hang on what am I going to do here duplicate that layer to show you we simply just select and fix again so if first time it doesn't get it right just do it again and I'm just going to patch this area in here just to tidy it up because sometimes Photoshop doesn't know what direction your lights coming in all it knows is you want to replace that area so there we go still super quick what if you've got something in the picture you want to get rid of like a hand um, which we quite often get in um, newborn shots we quite often get a hand or a parent, um, you know, a parent's finger in the way. 
So again, select and fix. These are all kind of raw um, images, most of them straight out of the camera, so no other editing has been done. So as you can see, I am drawing around the hand here with a loose selection, just to select it all in. OK, and select and fix. While it just works it out, there we go. So that isn't bad at all. And then again, you know, we can still see the slight outline here, so just use Select and Fix just to tidy up these edges. Baby's hat here. We could use Select and Fix just to fill in that little gap. And we're done. Beats cloning. OK. Oh, OK, so this one. I've just literally kind of taken a random selection of images so I can get through them as quickly as possible. So we're just selecting and fixing just selecting these background bits and fixing them. My foot, I forgot to put it under the flocati. I normally do that with these shots. I normally slip it under so I don't have to clone my black socks out. But we're just going to use select and fix again. And because I'm on patch, I'm going to patch in any areas that look a bit odd. There we go, super quick. This one. Okay, so this image um, has got quite a bit going on. What if you want to change all of the blanket to blue? So I'm going to duplicate the layer first and I'm going to crop it in. You can do this with cropping, you know, too, if you want to. I'm going to get it in where we want because there's no sense in trying to fix um, images that, you know, parts of the image that aren't even needing to be there. OK, so flatten it down. And I'm going to get the patch tool and I'm going to do one corner at a time. One. Two. Remember I flattened this down because um, I didn't want it to be pulling in anything that's outside the image that we can't see because it would otherwise it would be trying to pull this blanket back in. So there we go, that hasn't done a bad job at all. And then you can patch in for texture um, if you wanted to kind of, if it looked a bit cloned or it looked a bit odd, you can kind of patch these um, areas in but as you can see this is still so much quicker than cloning. I'm just going to hit select and fix on these little areas now just to tidy them up. But you get the idea. Okay, so patch tool is great because basically what you're doing with patch tool is you're telling it what to replace the texture with. So I want to replace this texture with this texture for example, this texture with that texture. So there we go, select and fix there. This one, um, I was going to show you skin on that one, but we're kind of running out of time. Okay, so this one here, the same principle again. Actually, with a bit of cropping, that doesn't really need select and fix. So, actually, yes, it does. So, say I want baby very central to the frame. I've now got this area here, which is missing. So let's flatten that one down. I'm going to get the marquee tool to make a uh, rectangular selection and hit select and fix to follow that wood grain. So there we go. As you can see here, there's a bit that looks a bit cloney, so I'm just going to select that, select and fix. Okay, this one, uh, what was I going to do with this one? Oh, that's right, I was just going to fix these areas here. So all that's doing is popping in a little bit more texture there, and as you can see, I use the patch tool just to kind of, um, you know, replace what Photoshop already put in there. Sometimes Photoshop gets confused, like so for example there, it's trying to kind of add in a piece of her head, uh, but still quicker than cloning. Okay. Um, outdoor images, you can use this on outdoor images too. You can make multiple selections, so I'm going to hold down shift and make a few selections and hit select and fix. There we go, done. Uh, this image, okay, so for this one I want to fill the sky with tree. And I'm going to show you the F2 trick here. Remember I said about setting F2 as your select and fix function key? So let's get rid of the actions. You don't even need your actions palette up for F2. So I'm drawing a light selection around the sky, making sure to include a little bit of the tree that I want to um, replace the sky with. And instead of clicking on the action, I've got my hand on the keyboard here. Can you hear it? And I'm just going to hit F2. And what that's doing is telling the computer to run the select and fix action. So there we go. Anywhere that looks a bit odd, 
I'm just going to hit F2 uh, rather than even pressing select and fix and just play it again. Okay. Do I have any more? Oh, this one. Okay, so removing distractions. I want to remove these wood knots, so hold down shift and maybe that little piece there and hit F2. It's running select and fix and it's done. So super simple. Select and fix, you can use it for all manner of things in your images. You can use it for skin. Um, let me show you skin. Okay. So this image is a bit dark. Like I said, it's, it's, um, it's straight out of camera. This image, let's just brighten her up a little bit so you can see a bit better. This image is straight out of camera. Um, I haven't done my usual skin edits. I would recommend doing your usual, all of your usual edits and leaving skin till last. But just to show you, I'm on patch tool like I have been so far. And I'm going to use um, select and fix just to get rid of some of these little blemishes. Like I said before, I'm holding down shift um, so I can make multiple selections of these little skin spots here. And I'm going to hit F2 to play select and fix. And they're gone. F2, F2, F2. So I'm literally drawing and hitting F2 on the keyboard. And it's using select and fix to fix these little spots here on her skin. So that's the select and fix action by LSP Actions. You can find this at www.lemonskyactions.com. Um, it's already a part of the Signature Newborn collection for Photoshop, the Perfect Parent Post collection for Photoshop, the um, Forestry Stock School, I can't even talk, Forestry School collection for Photoshop, and it's available as a standalone. So if you already own one of those action sets, have a look in the manual section there, you will find select and fix. Um, I hope that helped. Down to cloning, boo to cloning. Select and fix and patch tool all the way for super, super easy editing. Okay, bye.